Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing Yoda, Issue 1, subtitled uh, Light and Life, Part 1, The Coming of the Jedi, which was written by Kevin Scott and with art by uh, Nico Leon and was released on November 23rd, 2022. So yeah, today is Star Wars Day, so I'm going to do a review of this issue because this is a, is a Issue 1 and I haven't uh, reviewed it yet. But in the issue I thought it was fine. The series will be is 10 issues and um, the first 9 issues are going to be split up into three different three issue story arcs and this is the start of first and so it's more set up uh for um this story arc and i just wasn't super into it it is set during the uh, higher relic era and is in fact uh, in between the uh, first and second phase of the uh publishing series so i do wish there's maybe some more connections there but uh, so far there really isn't and so far could the story could have been taking place in any era of star wars so, yeah, but um, the art I thought was solid. I, I like that. But like I said, the story just hasn't really grabbed me yet. But uh, maybe it will in the next two issues. But for now, I just wasn't as into it. But uh, the issue starts with Yoda on Dagobah, where he's hearing the voice of um someone. I'm assuming it's Obi-Wan. I'm not fully sure there yet. But we see them talk for a little mi- moment. And then uh, we get some flashbacks to uh, you know the main story of this arc. Which you see on this uh, planet called uh, Tarok. Um, and the uh, people of the world uh, called the uh, Scalvi are getting attacked by some uh, raiders. And we see this one named uh, Bree send a uh, distress signal out uh, into the galaxy. Which we see the Jedi uh, recover it on Coruscant. And we see the Jedi High Council kind of talking about it and whatnot. And you know what to do about it. Which we see the uh, Jedi uh, Pratri Veter, who is a. Uh, new to the council at this point which uh during phase one of uh the high republic he is the uh grand master of the high council alongside yoda that's really the only connection to the high republic uh so far the uh you know high republic publishing series but uh feeder is a little hesitant to uh act on it which we see some of the other jedi you know talk about you know how they should act but then finally yoda chimes in saying that he will go which uh we see veter uh kind of say like oh well maybe you shouldn't your place is on coruscant which yoda says wherever the force takes him is his place so we see him head there and uh get there just in the nick of time as the uh scalvy Bree is about to probably be killed by a, a raider so you know uh yoda saves the day and scares away the raiders which um afterwards uh yoda i guess thinks he can help out the scalvy i guess Maybe also change the raiders, kind of make the world a better place. So he decides to stay on Tarok, which he does send a uh, message to the Jedi Council telling him that that's what he's going to be doing. But uh, the issue then ends with uh, Yoda hanging out with Bree and the other Scalvy. Uh, I guess there's some sort of a musical thingy going on, which, you know, Yoda kind of talks to Bree, introduces himself to uh, Bree and whatnot, and uh, kind of says what he's going to be doing and whatnot which uh we do see one of the uh, raiders kind of watching them saying that uh they're going to bring destruction to the village and that's where the issue ends like i said so far i just wasn't super into the story it is set during the uh, higher public era and so i and i've enjoyed uh, the publishing series so i was excited for that but so far could have really been set during any era the biggest connection to the publishing series so far is uh the jedi master uh even a veter but other than that not really that much but uh like i said this issue was more about setting up the story and so far it hasn't really gripped me that much still am interested to see where it'll go in the next two issues but for now i just wasn't as into it so um yeah but uh my grade for issue one is going to be a uh, c plus so yeah there's already several issues of the series out so i don't know when i'll do a uh, review of the uh next issues and whatnot but Eventually, I will get around to them, so uh, you can check those out. But in the meantime, you check out my uh, other comic reviews, my higher public stuff, uh, some of my other May 4th videos, and um, everything else I do. But I've been Zarzu, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.